Rachel has $295 notes. How much money does she have all together? Now we've talked about how the equation is 290 times 5. I don't know my 290 times tables, so what strategy can we use to solve this equation? Jerry Place value. Place value, yes. So how would I use place value to solve this equation? What's my first step? Um, you split the first, first number. So I split the 290, and what would I split it into? Um, 200. Yes. 90. Split 290 into a 290. What do I do next? Uh, uh, you go times 5. Yeah, so instead of going 290 times 5, I'm just going to go 200 times 5 and 90 times 5. All right, how will I solve those tricky ones? 200 times 5. I don't know my 200 times tables. What will I do? Um, 5 times um, 2. And take your, um, um, cover the, um, two zeros and it will equal um, 1,000. So I can cover the two zeros and I can go, well, I know 2 times 5 equals... Ten, and then I need to add the two zeros on the end. Great. And what do I do next, Sydney? Uh, you go nine times five equals forty-five, and add on the zero. Great. Well, I don't know my ninety times tables, but I know that nine times five equals forty-five, and I just add the zero. Okay, what is my next step? Have we got the answer yet? No. No. What do I need to do now, Trista Jade? Now you have to plus the 10,000 and the... The 1,000? Yeah, 1,000 and 450. And my answer is? 1,450. One, 1,400. And 50. Well done. Like the way that you guys were able to look at the equation and you split it up into its tens and the ones. And you also remembered what you know about timesing numbers by tens. Good stuff. Let's check our answer.